Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the nested structures in C++. A nested structure is nothing but a structure inside another structure. And here in this tutorial, we have included a new header file, string. And when we include this, you know, we can use the strings in our program. All right. And we're going to learn about the strings in the tutorial on them. All right. Now, a nested structure is nothing but a structure inside another structure. So, for example, let's say you want to store the information of the student. At that time, the student has the name, roll number, age, then the address. And this address contains many elements. For example, the house number and then the street name etc etc so this address also contains some dissimilar elements what we can do is we can group the dissimilar elements of that address under one name in a structure and we can use the structure so if it is confusing don't worry you know when you start writing the code it's going to be very clear all right first we're going to create a structure called address so it's going to be struct address and as a members, let's have int house number and then string street name. All right, now we have a structure called address which has the house number and the street name. And then we're gonna define another structure. Let's call it as student. And the student structure has the members let's say string name the student name and then int roll number and then and the address so here we have the structure address you know when we define a structure it's going to be a user defined data type and we can use that data type to create the variables so here the student has the address and what we can do is we can create a variable of the structure address so it's going to be address and then the variable name and I'm going to call it as ADDR, you know, short form of address. All right. Now we have two structures and one is called address and another one is called student and this structure student contains another structure inside it. So this is called nesting the structure. And the next thing is how to access the elements when we nest the structures so here just for the demonstration purpose we're going to create a variable of this structure student so it's going to be student and let me call it as anil and uh, we can initialize the members of the structure student using the dot operator so it's going to be anil dot let's say name equal to anil and similarly anil dot roll number equal to one two three four and then we have another member address which is also a structure so to access the members of the structure student we're gonna use anil dot and to access this addr or this address element we're gonna write addr and we know that this addr or this address is also another structure so to access the members of a structure we're going to use the dot operator you know when we refer that using the variables so it's going to be dot here and then house number you know which is the member of the structure address so it's going to be house number and let's assign it with a value of 68 and then anil dot the the member of the structure variable student addr dot the member of the structure variable addr which is street name so i'm going to copy this and paste it here and let's assign a value mg road all right so now we have learned how to assign the values when we nest the structures. The next thing is accessing the values. So I'm going to use the cout. And if you want to access the name, 
the member name then we need to write the variable name anil dot and then name and let's end this and I'm gonna copy this and paste it in the next line and if you want to access the roll number it's gonna be anil dot roll number and I'm gonna paste it again and if you want to access this ADDR you need to write anil dot ADDR and then this ADDR is a variable of another structure and that's why to access the members of that we need to use the dot operator and again house number or the member name and I'm gonna paste one more time and this time it's gonna be ADDR dot street name all right now we have nested the structures and also assign the values to that nested structure and also retrieve the value from that nested structure so i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this so now you guys can see we have anil which is the name of the student then the roll number one two three four and then the house number you know which is the part of the address 68 and the mg road which is the street name so this is how you guys can nest the structure inside another structure so this is it guys this is how you guys can nest a structure inside another structure and access the members of the nested structures using the dot operator in c++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, if you guys have any doubt or any suggestion don't hesitate to tell us and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial